Well, everyone, iOS 19 is probably, as always, going to be one of the bigger updates Apple's going to make next year. And I do think that there's a chance it's going to be a really, really big update. And I think Apple's going to implement some big changes that they should have implemented so long ago, finally into this particular update. Now, we all know iOS 18 literally just came out, so there's still lots of improvements Apple has to put in within iOS 18. But within iOS 19, the biggest thing I can definitely tell you within this particular update is that from what I can think about, there's going to be some really big improvements Apple's going to make beyond than just things, you know, like Apple intelligence. Even without Apple intelligence, there were still lots of improvements Apple made within iOS 18, but I don't think Apple's going to go through and basically make iOS, you know, 19 an AI type of update. I think by this time next year, there's not really going to be like this insane push on AI stuff. I mean, I think it's still going to be there, but I don't think it can be the biggest selling point. iOS 18 was already this big AI update. So iOS 19, if they were to do the same thing on that update as well, it just wouldn't really make too much sense. But there was a report back on June 30th, 2024, that Apple was already working on iOS 19 and even the next versions of macOS and watchOS. So because of that, there's a very high chance that Apple's going to have basically a really good long year of working on that version of software. I think one of the biggest things they're probably going to end up doing is probably hopefully implementing some of the changes that Android's had in the last couple of years into an iOS you know, 19. And I think this could also include some sort of feature set for them to go ahead and basically start allowing us to basically install our own IPA files inside of iOS 19 system-wide. I think there is some likelihood of something like that happening. Again, I don't think it's a guarantee, but I think there is a very high likelihood Apple could be implementing some changes like that. Especially, I think on top of that, Apple could also implement some changes where they're going to go ahead and start making us, basically allowing us to, you know, hopefully doing something along the lines of split screen multitasking. I think there could be a chance as well that Apple will go ahead and, you know, kind of give us that type of feature. Again, I really hope that's the case because if Apple doesn't do that, that's going to be kind of annoying. But I think there's, again, a chance where Apple's going to give us that type of capability. I say this every year, but I feel like next year, hopefully they end up doing it just year over year over year, there's a chance they'll end up doing it. But regardless of all that, like I said before, Apple's basically had a really good year of basically implementing these changes. So I do think there's a chance Apple's going to go ahead and focus in on these changes for a year now and hopefully give us a really big update within iOS 19. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.